Hi guys, welcome back to Maxi's Kitchen or welcome to Maxi's Kitchen if this is your first time here. I'm super glad to have you over. Today I want to teach all of you guys how to make birria tacos from scratch. This was so flavorful and I need to share the recipe with you guys so don't go anywhere, stay tuned. usual here's a list of all the ingredients you need to make this recipe so I put everything on the first page and all of the spices on the second page let's get started in this recipe I'm going to be using short ribs now originally goat's meat is used to make birria tacos um, so if you're in Ghana or in Nigeria or in any African country where goat's meat is common you can just get some goat's meat but cut it up into huge chunks and take the skin off i'm sure that should do the trick okay so i'm using short ribs today you can also use chuck roast it would work very well so i've arranged them on a tray lined with parchment paper and i'm just going to pat them dry with a clean kitchen tissue after that i'm going to salt the short ribs generously and we're going to keep it in the fridge for about an hour you can do this overnight as well Now let's work on the chilies. So I have here ancho and guanjilo chilies. The black one is ancho and then the red one is guanjilo. I hope I'm pronouncing them well. The chilies in the tin is um, chipotle chilies and adobo sauce. We're going to be using that as well. So what I've realized is that different people use different combinations of different Mexican chilies for their birria tacos. But these two, ancho and guanchilo, are almost always a part of that combination and that's why I chose to use these two today. So I got these chilies from an online Mexican store in the UK called Mexican Mama I think and that's where I got my tortillas as well so I'm going to leave a link to their website in the description box below so that you can easily get everything from them if you want to make this recipe. So after deseeding the chilies, you want to put them into a pot of a medium heat and pour in some boiling water. Now you're going to boil this for about 10 to 15 minutes just until it, um, the chilies get rehydrated. Okay, so we want to bring the chilies back to life. You don't want to add the chipotle to this pot, okay, because that's not dried. So after everything looks rehydrated again, you want to put everything into the blender cup, adding the chipotle chilies and the adobo sauce. And we're going to rinse the can because obviously there's a bit left in there. We want to make sure that we're not letting anything go to waste. So to that, I'm going to add about one teaspoon of mixed herbs. Now, I wanted to use Mexican oregano because that's what a lot of people use. But I ordered it, it didn't arrive on time and I needed to do this recipe. So you can use Italian oregano or mixed herbs like I did as well. Um, added in some of the garlic and also added in the liquid we got from you know um, rehydrating the chilies okay don't throw that liquid away it's gold so I added almost all of it to the blender cup and blended everything also added in some peppercorns and salt so pepper and salt to taste okay so now let's set that aside we'll come back to it later now I'm going to take one beef stock pot. Now this is by Nor. You can get it from Sainsbury's, Tesco, almost every supermarket. I'm just going to put it in a cup and dilute it with about a cup and a half of very hot water, okay? So you want to mix it up until everything has dissolved nicely. After preparing the beef stock, you want to preheat your oven to 160 degrees Celsius. So I've taken the um, short ribs out of the fridge and then you want to pat them dry again. You don't want any moisture at all on the 
um, ribs before you actually sear them so I put some oil into the pot I'm sure you guys saw me do that wait for it to heat up and now we're going to sear our short ribs okay so you want to put the fleshy side down first press it down a bit and then just let it you know um, sear for some time you're not trying to cook them you just want them to you know brown a bit that would lock in all of the flavors okay it would help for all of the flavors to actually stay inside okay Now this is the kind of sear that you want, the one that you see the brown marks on the meat, okay? That's additional flavour, so make sure you get something like that on all sides, okay? Now for the onions, you can use red or white onions, any would be fine. I had white onions so that's what I used. You just want to add it back into the oil that we stirred the short ribs in. Give it a good mix. You want to fry that for a while before you add in the garlic to fry as well. Um, that's only because garlic burns a lot quicker than the onions do, okay? So I just added in, I just added in the rest of the garlic, mix that in. Going to fry for about one minute and then I'm going to add in my mixed herbs. I didn't use Mexican oregano again because I didn't have it then. Okay, so once you fry that for about one more minute, we're going to deglaze with the beef stock we, we prepared earlier on. Now deglazing means adding a liquid to a pot and scraping the flavors at the bottom of the dish just so that you have all those flavors in the in the dish okay so you're not going to let that go to waste you can deglaze with wine with stock with water but in this case we're using beef stock but in this case we used beef stock because it has extra flavor okay so we're trying to build on the flavors in this dish right after you're adding the stock you mix it and let it sit for about a minute or two and then add the seared meat back into the pot so in this case we used um short ribs so i added my short ribs back into the pot and I also added about a teaspoon and a half of salt um, because I tasted it and realized I needed some salt, okay? Right after that, you want to grab the um, blender chili mix that we made and pour everything into the pot. Now, when you're done, rinse the blender cup with water. Please do not let everything inside the blender go to waste, okay? We want to make sure we're using every single thing. So rinse it with some water and then pour the contents back into the pot. So at this point, you want to add in your aromatics. I'm using peppercorns, cloves, bay leaves and cinnamon sticks. Now if you can, you can toast your peppercorns, cloves and cinnamon sticks before you add it in and crush the cloves and peppercorns a bit. I also added in some chili pepper or chili powder because I wanted a bit of heat in my birria tacos. You want to add all of those spices in, mix it very well and then put the pots in the preheated oven cover it put in the preheated oven for 2.5 hours after that you want to take it out and open it so at this point the meat was so so tender like super tender and that's what you're looking for so i took um all of the ribs out of the consomme and put it in a bowl now we're going to talk about the sauce left later but for now you want to take all of the meat put in, put it into a bowl like i did So you want to get two forks right after you've done this and then shred the short ribs okay so i took the bones out of the meat and i'm just shredding this this is what we're going to use for the tacos so we're going to be using corn tortillas instead of regular flour tortillas because these ones are going to crisp up nicely when we fry them they break easily though so be careful with them we're also using mozzarella cheese so you want to dip a tortilla on the surface of the consomme because that's where most of the oil is okay from the meat and then you're going to put that in a pan over medium heat okay and it's going to bubble up 
you're going to wait for it to bubble up for a while and then you want to flip it now when you're dipping the corn tortilla in the um the consomme don't let it sit in the consomme for too long or else it's just going to tear okay so once you flipped flipped it you want to put a generous amount of mozzarella cheese on the surface of the tortilla and then put some of the shredded um short ribs on one side of the tortilla okay you want to wait for the cheese to melt a bit and then flip it over flip it in half okay just like what i've done right now or what i'm doing right now and then um just press press it down and you know you can decide to flip it on the other side for the other side to crisp up a bit and that's literally it when you're done with that just arrange them on a plate and you can just um make them look nicer by topping them with diced fresh um red onions and some um coriander or coriander or cilantro is the same thing so you can um you know top them off with those two and then pour some of the consomme so the consomme is going to be a dipping sauce okay this has so much flavor because we cooked the meat in this sauce it's just really flavorful serve some in a bowl and serve it with the tacos dip and enjoy this was super super good and i hope you guys try it and hope you love it when you do don't forget to subscribe to like and to leave a comment i'll catch you in my next video bye